What's going on guys? Hope everybody had been a good weekend. Just uh truck is got some more stuff done to it. You guys seen my previous video. We did the 359 headlights. Definitely turned out pretty good. And guys, let me show you on the passenger side what we did. Who could notice what's done on the passenger side? Well, we got rid of this big fat step. None, no more bulky step mounted the smaller step basically on this side it bolts to the original two holes this side we drill two additional holes and finally since we got this smaller step mounted and inside it's uh it's actually a nice storage area we got the train horn mounted so guys here's what i showed you guys for the train horn we removed the electronic valve. So it's a fully air train horn now, no electrical needed. All we did is remove the valve, put this fitting in so we could attach this half inch hose. That way, these horns get a lot more air. It's a lot more louder setup now. And I'll show you guys what we did on the inside. And for the train horn, what we did is we added one of these fittings to an air tank. From this fitting, we have a half inch hose going to the valve. Now from that half inch fitting, we got it coming up to this side. The half inch hose going up to this side. We got the valve and from this side, we got the half inch hose going straight to the train horn now. Guys, it's a lot better setup than having to mess with electrical, find a switch, mount a switch somewhere. About it, there's no air, but it's a lot better setup. We got a plate mounted so the seat seat could sit a lot farther back and guys check this out new seats the sears elite atlas elite and guys we got these for 884 dollars from kenworth guys they wanted over like a thousand dollars what you do is you ask them to price match find the lowest price you can online somewhere we found four state trucks four state trucks basically uh they price matched it with four state trucks and let it go for 884 bucks a seat it's a steal. Now, since the seat sits farther back, you got a clutch pedal extender. It's an Iowa Customs. It's a two inch. A lot, definitely worth it. Inside, we got the steering wheel. We got the dash all painted white. And we got the shifter extension. My previous video, I showed how we installed the uh, from Amazon for 159 bucks. We picked up a, uh, can't see, but we picked up a uh, China diesel heater, guys. And this has been working pretty good. All we're waiting is for one more part to get it uh, so it could start sucking the diesel from the tank. The diesel heater, you can see how it's mounted underneath. And there's, we got the exhaust hose run into the back for the diesel heater i'll let you guys know we're gonna try it out for a couple months see how it works how see how it runs guys for 140 159 dollars for a diesel heater i mean a lot better than spending right now 1500 dollars for a webasto which we barely use it on my kenworth i have the s part guys i use it like once every few months so is it worth the spending 1500 dollars on a diesel heater i understand some guys go long haul and they need it it's a priority for them but we're local guys we run mostly washington oregon we don't run far so to use it once in a while i think the china diesel heater is definitely is worth it and these headlights we'll see how they shine on the road but basically this is on low beam right now and they have leds inside so uh, I think it should shine a lot better than the factory 389. The factory 389 headlights did not do so well. Maybe they would have done better with LEDs inside. So yeah guys, little by little, we'll get there. It's a big project. Uh, definitely, since we mounted this step, we could finally uh, mount a nice 90 degree picket elbow. Maybe like an 8 inch stack do 114s all the way up because with this step uh 
it was it went too far it would not allow us to run that 90 degree elbow because as you can see this elbow swoops to the side so we needed more space over here so mounting this step now we got a lot more space to run a good exhaust stack